Hey guys, it's Zach with Alldeck, and today I'd like to show you the coverage tools available for your project inside of Riviera Pro. Coverage analysis is a verification process that determines how a design was verified or which parts of the design are still untested. The coverage tools available in Riviera Pro can analyze code coverage, functional coverage, and toggle coverage. The code coverage engine in Riviera Pro will analyze statement coverage, branch coverage, expression or condition coverage, FSM coverage, and path coverage. The format used to store the various coverage types is the Aldec Coverage Database, or ACDB for short. All the coverage engines discussed are integrated with the Riviera Pro simulator, and data is automatically saved to the database when the session is finished. The, deba the database is able to save, load, control, merge, and generate reports of your coverage analysis statistics. If we go to Tools and Preferences, we can adjust the settings for coverage in simulation and debugging. We can choose the coverage we'd like analyzed and move to advanced settings for specific coverage engines, which will adjust how the designs are analyzed. In debugging, you can adjust the weights of each test's meaning and the goal threshold percentages. While these settings can be adjusted in preferences, they can also be manually set via a script or while running tests in batch mode. There are some coverage tools which are only script commands. You can import a verification or test plan, which is an XML spreadsheet, using the XML to ACDB command, which will create an ACDB file that can then be compared with the test performed on the design to verify all links from sections are successfully matched with the simulations. You can also do test ranking. Ranking your test results will allow you to compare your coverage results against all other tests to determine its usability or resource consumption. You can define the coverage rankings using the ACDB rank command. It will give insight into which test runs will yield the greatest coverage value in the shortest time or least taxing to the CPU. These rankings will both be visible in text and HTML generated reports. In the client, Riviera Pro offers several tools which can help you interact with coverage analysis within the GUI and we can navigate to various windows which offer various coverage options. In the objects window, you can generate reports for signals that exist in your design as well as include or exclude those signals. If for example you wanted the toggle analysis of a signal, you would be able to generate a report for it during simulation. The hierarchy window will allow the user to see the descending levels of the design and will allow you to manipulate the coverage down to the component level. When you right click on a component you can include or exclude, enable or disable and clear the coverage for these components. If coverage has been done you can also generate a report. This can also be done at a higher design level. If you move over into the design units window which will show all the different design entities and architectures that are in the current design. When you right click on a component, you can include or exclude, enable or disable, and clear the coverage for these components. If coverage has been done, you can also generate a report. The design units window and hierarchy window have very similar coverage abilities. In the cover groups window, you have access to coverage statistics of any cover groups and functional coverage statistics you've detailed in your system Verilog and OSVVM designs. You can include and exclude or enable and disable cover groups in this view as well. Selecting a cover group type, instance, or cover point and opening the coverage details window will give information about hits, weight, goals, and various instances about your selected cover group or cover point. If your design has an FSM, you can use the FSM list window to view the FSMs in your design. The FSM list window shows status bars indicating the coverage of the FSM's states, transitions, and sequences. You can generate reports per FSM in your design and also open up the FSM viewer as a way to visually track the paths and states visited in your FSM design. You can see how many times a state has been visited and the path or paths that were taken to get to that state. When running a simulation for your design, you can also view code coverage statistics directly in the HDL editor and use coverage highlighting to help indicate which lines have been executed and which ones have not. In the HDL editor, you can choose which coverage statistics are visible to you. 
You can choose from statement, branch, condition, and expression coverage. After getting the coverage you desire for your design, you can generate reports, which will allow you to view the analysis of your design in a nice, concise report. The HTML report for this design includes analysis for each type of coverage and gives information in regard to the verification plan. A report was also generated with the given test ranking for each of the analysis done on the design to give the test some comparison to importance and CPU resource dedication for each test. Basic text reports can also be generated for your design coverage analysis as well. That's it for this coverage overview video. Thanks for watching.